Hi everyone, it's me, Dan. And in this video, I wanna talk about one of the smallest changes you can make that will have one of the biggest impacts in your life. And that's the difference between consumption and production. Here's why. When you consume anything, be it food, media, anything else, you get consumed by it. So if you say binge watch a TV show, I'm sure if you pay attention, you'll notice that suddenly your mind gets wrapped up in sort of the whole world of that show and you know, like images of it will be popping into your mind. And even if it's not in the front of your mind, it'll still be in the back of your mind, just kind of hanging out there. And that will really detract from your overall mental agency, mental clarity, just ability to think freely and clearly. Similarly, if you consume a lot of a food, you'll sort of become addicted to it and almost dependent on it. And then you won't have the freedom and agency to choose, right? It's consuming you. You get absorbed and consumed by that which you consume. So in the, so just in general, it's very important to be careful with what you choose to consume and really be mindful of what effect consuming that thing will have on your overall life. And you'll almost always find that it's not really worth it. Now, of course, you do have to consume some food and healthy food, of course, isn't really a problem. The difference is when it's coming from within yourself, what you're choosing to eat versus what, say, a commercial on TV is telling you to eat or telling you to be hungry for or crave. So then on the flip side of consumption, there's production, creation, and uh, productivity. When you switch from a consumptive flow to a creative one, there are vast and profound changes that occur. For the main thing is that instead of waiting passively for something to come your way, for you to consume it, you start producing from within the energy and the flows come from within you. And that's how you become very powerful in life is having your flow be dominant and powerful and be the main, like a sun shining into existence. When you create anything from your center, you act as a conduit for the flows of life to travel through you. And that's far more powerful than just trying to do something yourself or, and of course, it's more powerful than simply waiting and absorbing whatever happens to come your way. What you choose to create ultimately isn't that important. It's more the act of starting to do anything creative. You know, so many people in our culture these days, it seems like are just kind of stuck in a rut, not really having anything going on in their life. And they wonder why, and it's because so much of the culture is geared toward passively consuming. And what would really change things for, for all of those people is if they started creating anything. Fortunately for them, as soon as you start to create anything, you, move, you start moving in a whole new direction. You may not find the perfect thing that you love to create initially, but you will get there once you start on that path. Fortunately, the best thing for you to create will always ultimately be that which you most enjoy. It's sort of a function of your soul, if you will, or a product of your soul shining through, and that's what you create. That's what you will have the maximum degree of resonance with. And it's when you create something in this way that you have that maximum resonance with that you're able to maximally benefit the world because your soul and you are unique so therefore, whatever you have the most resonance with will also be unique, which means whatever you're producing and creating will be unique to the world and therefore more beneficial, infinitely more rare and more valuable to people, more helpful to people. So not only does it help you to be creative and create from your own center, but it helps the world as well. So if you're not sure what you want to create, just start doing anything. It doesn't matter. That's the beauty of it. You know, just start writing in a journal. Just start drawing on a piece of paper. And you know what? It's probably going to be bad. 
<laughs> if you've never done it before, it won't be good quality, but that's not the point. The point is to get used to that new flow of creation. And as you get into this new flow, you will watch your life totally transform. And with that, I will see you later. Bye.